exclamation everybody and welcome to Pocket Rogues. It's in early access and it's by Ether Gaming and it's currently 10% off at $5.39, normally $5.99 US. And it's uh, what it says on the tin. It's a, a roguelike um, top-down RPG, basically. Um, it's, it's very light. Uh, it doesn't. Uh, it's not requiring a lot of space. Um, it may it has maybe the controls are could be use a little work, but uh, let's get into it and we'll, we'll we'll talk about that as we go. So first off, it drops me right onto the. Uh, screen here where I select my upgrades. Uh, this is your my, my base basically, um, and then uh, I will be able to choose our, our dungeon as we go. Uh, when you first start off, it starts you off in the main. It starts you off here, but then you go into the first dungeon. Once you've played through that a little bit, then uh, you get an opportunity to uh, choose other dungeons to go to if you want to. Um, we'll see how we go. There's also these crystals. Uh, they are your currency for some things, um, for upgrades, I believe, uh, that you carry over from one run to the next, because obviously it's a roguelike, so you're going to die a lot. Uh, and then there's also coins, which also help to uh, buy uh, some of these things here. You can see these to upgrade here. It takes 1,500 coins to get a to, you know, better training camp. Um, this also unlocks more... Um, uh, classes that you can use um and middlemen and all that stuff uh we'll get into that in a little bit but as you upgrade things here like fighting pits and whatnot um you start to this expands outward a bit uh we don't have much we can do there right now uh then down here is your equipment and here's where you can buy what equipment you want uh going forward so right now i've got the robe i already bought it i have it equipped uh, this is where the crystals come into play. I could buy a shirt, which is a defensive plus 20, uh, 15. This is plus 25. And then these ha I haven't found yet. So I can't buy them for this run because I haven't found them. Um, there's also durability on these things. So, you know, you have to be careful as you go. Uh, the sword as well. You can see what's uh, what we have here. I've got the short sword because uh, of the speed on it. But there's also a long sword here with the better crit and all that uh then down here there's also this uh anybody who bought who buys the game before november 1st gets a plus 30 percent experience so uh that's kind of an interesting uh thing which is uh that's what as long as their special promotion is going i look i'm looking over at the steam uh, page here and it's 10 percent off until november 1st so uh, if you still see 10% off there, you'll get 30 plus 30% experience. Um, but here we've got uh, our different abilities. So we've got Reaper, which is a slow attack. This is my like right click, I believe, um, which takes up some mana. And it's got uh, a large radius of defeat. There's other things out here, but we need to improve our training camp to get them. Uh, you've got uh, your defense here, uh, which I don't have any points up here. Uh, in order to spend. I've already spent them. Uh, and then this is my uh, my normal blade. Um, there's also, I have only unlocked the archer class so far. I, warrior, well, I've unlocked warrior and archer. You start out with, you pick which class you want. I've been going, I've been rocking the warrior and so far so good on that. Um, i kind of interested to see what the archer has in store. Um, but maybe we'll do one uh, maybe we'll do this run with the warrior. I, I'm not. I'm not sure, um, but uh, I think it might be more beneficial to do it with the warrior because I'm already familiar with it. Um, but anyway, up here you can see we've got consumables. I could go buy some if we want, like small potions and antidotes and things. Uh, talismans gives you uh, more uh, inventory slots, uh, a one-time resurrection, so on and so forth. Uh, you can get pets as well, uh, a dog, a lynx, a golem, um, which will help out a little bit as you're going through the, the, the dungeon. Um, and then our equipment here, what else do we have? We have uh, helmets, which I can't, and a magician hat, which I found. Both of these I found in chests and now they're available to buy. I don't have them. Uh, any money for them though. Uh, we can get a reinforced shield or a wooden shield, still don't have any money for those. 
Uh, what's over? I don't know what the other ones in the in the corners are. Um, but anyway, uh, there's not much I can do here because I've already done a bunch of things. So let's go next. And uh, this is the dungeon you start out in. The normal, the catacombs. I made it as far as uh, I think the fourth floor, I believe, um, before I got to murderized. Um, there's a bunch of quests that apparently will spawn at some point and uh, whatnot. This is just the normal uh, playthrough or normal difficulty. Um, there's also this, uh, because I've already run through this a little bit, uh, I've unlocked the location of the Crypt of Emptiness, which is an endless run. So uh, this one is just telling you how many floors you've managed to get down. Um, and then every, like, Fifth floor, tenth floor, twenty-fifth floor, fiftieth floor. You can start from there uh, and keep on rolling down there. Um, I'll start out with the. I guess I could do the crypt of emptiness, um, but I kind of want to run this catacombs again because I think there is an exit to the catacombs, which then would allow me to find more uh, locations possibly. So uh, let's just roll with this and see what we can do. All right, here we are, we're in the catacombs. Uh, the mouse controls your direction. The keyboard WASD uh, moves you around. Uh, these are all spikes and whatnot. It, it does take a little bit of getting used to uh, as far as uh, what's uh, gonna hurt you and what's not gonna hurt you so much. Uh, I have auto loot turned on, so anytime some loot drops, it will automatically pick up for me. Um, there is... Uh, there's a little bit of a delay between clicking the mouse and actually swinging your sword and stuff. You get used to it, but it's kind of weird. This is why I say like there's, it's a bit of a problem right now with the controls in the game. Uh, this inscription has cracks and part of it is crumpled, making the script incomprehensible. Okay. And then the other thing I've noticed is that uh, the enemies like to attack boxes for some reason. I'm not sure why that is, but they, they just love attacking those boxes. Um, we do have an inventory, I think, uh, no, maybe not. Uh, I thought we had one, quest me, oh no, I guess, uh, we don't really have one, it'll just show as we go. Um, we have, Monster Science Skill plays gold for each monster killed by the Guild of Heroes, beginning with Ordinary Rat and ending with monsters that do not fit in the field of view of the Crystal Ball. And where did they get that much money? <laughs> it's left up to your imagination as to where they've gotten that much money. So I can do my right click here, which will do a, a huge attack, but also take a bunch of mana. Or I can do my left click, which does this, the faster attack, but less uh, damage or swing. My health is up here and my mana, uh, as you might imagine, uh, or might have guessed already. Um, the thing I've noticed is really it's really hard to determine exactly how far away you are from the enemies so we got a little map here it shows me this corner of the map i can't do anything as far as i know with this map like i can't i can't scroll it or anything like that i can only see the section of the area that it shows me so i don't know if that's intentional or if that's just if i'm, if I'm missing something but close to the walls you can find hidden stashes of coins these places are characterized by a thicker shadow um, all right, we got another one of these. Yeah, so far so good. Some hit points back. We automatically eat any meat and whatnot. There's also, you saw that, uh, briefly saw a green bar there. Um, that's the poison bar. This is a poison rat coming at me. Um, <clears throat> and, um, what this game does, as far as poison is concerned, if there's poison on the ground, it will it will poison you if, over time. Um, but what the game does is it gives you that little bar there to tell you whether or not you're close to being poisoned or getting the poison status. So if that bar fills up entirely, you get a poison status for a couple seconds and you take damage. Um, but if you manage to extract yourself from whatever is causing the poison bar to appear, uh, before it hits the end, then you, you, you escape without, without getting poisoned. There is a arrow here that is very, that is strange. Very strange indeed. 
And I don't know what these things are on the wall here. I've, they're, I guess they're just decorations. I, I, I do not know. Did I just see a, no idea what that was. Uh, we did level up, but it's, it's an auto level. Oh, uh, see that green stuff there was poison. So you see how the poison bar went up. But I didn't get the poison status because I, I moved away from it fast enough. There we go. And we're keeping ourselves healthy with a lot of these health drops and other things. There's a sword there that's dropped. And dagger. Okay. And then the floor is clear now. Another health potion. Very nice. So I think the exit is up here, if I'm not mistaken. We saw it a little bit earlier. Yep. Alright. Now, do we... Is there... Ah, oh, here's my inventory. Um, so there is... I don't think you actually physically level up. Oh, I got an opal. Just just a trash. And these mantle are sold to the merchant after death. Such items are sold from the inventory automatically. Uh, axe pommel and uh, bread. Okay, so I, I haven't actually used the bread, but I do have it here. Small iron dagger. Uh, so we're good there. Scenery and all that stuff, so cool. Um, I don't know what that was, <laughs> but I uh, but I did it. Whatever it was, there's no quests. Uh, the main map isn't working for me, so there you go. Now I did have a problem with the game where transitioning to a, a level caused the game to crash. Um, so just be mindful that this is still, it is still early access, so there are, there are still bugs to be had, or to be found. We'll bear that in mind as you go in. Alright. Get down here. Grab that. All the coins we can. Let's bring these guys up here. There we go. How's the map look? All right, that's what the map looks like. A little, a little preview of what's to come. Perhaps you think that the battle with monsters is too complicated, but you'll get used to it as soon as you realize that staying on the move can save your life. Oh, especially against these things that poison you. Oh, that rat poisoned itself. And we got some cheese. Excellent. Alright, so... Try not to run over these poison traps. Can help it. Go. And we'll right click one shotter on those. That. Grab some of this stuff. Grab the health potion. And we are good for a moment there. Health is doing really well right now. So can't complain. It is still, we are still in the early game and and it's meant to be easy right around now, so it's good. You know, get a bunch of XP. You can see our XP bar up at the top there as we as we level up. And I believe you start every run at level one, if I'm not mistaken. So the leveling is just for the run that you're currently on. Um, did I pass a? Oh, it's down here. I was like, did I, did I pass a <laughs> stairwell here? Yeah, old maps. Um, let's see what that looks like. Uh, can I read these old maps? 
Um, it's just trash, apparently. Huh. Okay. So I guess, um... Eh, well, alright, whatever. We'll just hold on to it for now. And go down to the next level. Comes level three. Wow, health there. That's where we probably don't need it. It's just an iron dagger. I already got one of those. Back up a little bit. Grab some health back. Kill some more rats. Oh, we got a bunch of guys up here. Oh, we got one of these archer dudes. There we go. Get them on the corner there a little bit. There is a cloak here, so let me go... What is this? A silver coin? Um, let's, uh, let's figure out our inventory here. Um, let's go and destroy that. 2 to 15 coins. Same with this one. Cool. There's our silver coin. And we'll pick up the cloak. Is the cloak any better than... I doubt it's better than what I have. I don't like that there's somebody... Oh, they, those guys are, are... Picking on that barrel down there. Let's see. Two mana points. There's our... Look at the map. Right there. Okay, so far so good. And uh, was that, I guess, oh, we gotta go down through this place. The only way I haven't gone yet. Or maybe it is the way I've gone already. Small health potion. Right, well, where have I not, where have I not been yet? Oh, up here, apparently. Okay. There's that. Got a lot of stuff. Another poison rat. A bunch of crystals we picked up. We got... Wood helmet of heavenly uh, protection. That would probably be a very good thing to pick up. So, let's get our... I wish... I, I apparently is not inventory, so we'll have to, have to figure out what, what that is going forward. Um, what is this? MP restoration. Let's, uh, let's take one of these. Let's use one of these. Um, the meat gives me 40 coins, 55, 100 coins. This one, my defense would go down. That makes sense. The shirt I don't really need. We already have unlocked that. So I'm going to just destroy this and try to get a few coins out of it. Um, and I'm going to say, let's see. Let's see if I can grab that. Got a banana there. We got a wooden shield. Um, can I equip... The, uh, what did I, what did I just, yes, the helmet. Can I, can I equip you? I think so. Protection from undead increased by 20%. Ooh, death charm on it. Very nice. Very, very nice. And I picked up a banana, which is not what I want. Um, but we can use that, I guess. And then we'll pick up that shield and those coins. And I think it said I cleared the level. So, mobile devices you can run by pressing the right half of the screen. Running consumes mana. Yes, there is a there is a run uh, if I hold down shift. Um, but I haven't had a real need to use it for anything. Um, this shield, though... Can I equip that? I can. Okay. 
All right, we're getting we're getting places now, friends. We are getting places. Level four catacombs. These guys up towards me. Excellent. You guys wrecking some faces. Don't mind me. Good. Over here we got a bunch of rats. Don't like that barrel too much. Another level up for us. Uh, pick that shirt up, which I don't really need, but we'll destroy it and get some inventory back. Lots and lots of coinage. Lots of coinage. What do you say? After unlocking any new location in addition to the catacombs, you'll see the map of the world. From there, you'll go to available dungeons. And also revisit the beaten dungeons that will now have an endless mode. Okay. That's uh, telling us what we already have deduced. But uh, before I go up to this guy, let's, uh, let's use a health potion here. And let's go destroy this. There we go. A little bit of inventory room. Excellent. Okay. Everything's going well. <laughs> More health potions and whatnot. Oh, one of these things. Wow, he dropped a giant mushroom. And another silver coin as well that I can't pick up right now. Silver coins apparently take up one whole bit of inventory. Uh, I guess we'll... Uh, Max Pommel is 70 coins. I'm not destroying that. I guess we could... Use this. Um, this will not really help me. Oh, we have a lot of uh, small health potions. I guess I can drop this one. Apparently they only stack to three. Let's grab that mushroom. I'm very curious to see what it does. Oh, MP restoration. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Alright, well, I don't really need that, so we're going to drop that. Well, what I do is I don't want that either. <laughs> this is, this is the, the problem with having auto loot. Uh, although this has got, oh, Shirt of Heavenly Protection. This has got uh, Death's Charm on it as well. Gives me more protection from undead. Um, my defense goes down slightly, but my speed goes up a little bit. Um, maybe we'll equip that. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's equip that and I'll I'll destroy this one. Alright. Well that's, that's still a thing. Okay. Alright, ooh, we're very close to getting poison there. Oh, we got this guy coming for us. There we go. Floor cleared. That's what I want to see. More floor clearage. Looks like uh some some death was had in this room too. Two hit points, and then we go back down here. All right, what does this sign say? About the monster science guild again. And where was the exit? Oh, it's over here. Okay. All right, down we go. Level five of the catacombs. I actually think that the battle with the monsters is too com- Oh, yeah, no, we've already read that. Okay, they're, they're repeating themselves. Well, it looks like there's a whole room down there that's just poison. That guy's actually healing up because he's in a room full of poison. Well, that's interesting. Okay. These guys are hugging it out, man. 
They are hugging zombies. We found ourselves some hugging zombies. And also one with a sword. Let's back up a little bit and... Oh, we got one of these guys coming. There's that. Come through there real fast. Alright, and let's uh let's heal a little bit. There we go. And we got an archer here. Oh, and a poison. That bar went up real fast, didn't it? Down for the count. Some uh, magic points. Some other things. Are anything here? Robe, shirt. Okay, they're just regular, plain old equipment. Oof. Okay. Robes. Regular robes. I got a arrow sticking out of my back. Got some bread and a battle axe. Um, hmm. I wish to see what this battle axe has. Uh, I'm all healed up too. Oh, I've got, wow. <laughs> I have, I have no room for anything. Um, and I don't really want to drop this because this is like 55 coins if I sell it off. Um, this is 50 coins. This is 30. All right, we'll destroy that. Let's get a little bit out of it. Now let's see this battle axe. And what do you say? Damage is three to five. Speed goes down. Um, to 20%, I guess. Which is a 30% loss of what I already have. And, but my crit chance goes up. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's do it. Let's do it and see what, uh... Yeah, plus 10%, 30%. Not sure what that means. Anyway, uh, let's go just get rid of that one so I have some inventory room. And we'll use our axe for now. I just have to be mindful that it's a lot slower than the one I had. Yeah, yeah, it is certainly slower. It is, it is wrecking some faces. Stamina potion, I believe I got. Food accelerates the rate of regeneration of health and mana. Okay. Ah, oh, poison again. Kill this guy. There we go. Some health back. Take that and grab that. There we go. Not getting poisoned. Sure. Yep. Okay. We know that. What's our map look like? Looks like that. What is this here? Oh, torch. Okay. I don't need no stinking torch. Although these guys are in a. I'm gonna have to draw them out of there. I think. There we go. Lots of death and destruction. This guy down to us. Good. And bring these guys down here. Oh, got more hugging zombies. Can't really get into that little room there. Got some silver there, though. Come down here, zombie. Come down and say hi. No, floor cleared. Alright, so then... Uh, let's see... 
Or anything I can part with. Um, I guess I could use one more of these. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's use both of those. And then I will pick up this silver. There it is. All right. Then we gotta find our way out of here. I think there was, yeah, it's up in the corner here. Now, I don't know how, how many, I don't know if this is endless as well, or if there's just a certain number of levels. Oh, there's a certain number of levels. Okay, that answers that question. <laughs> oh, and there's poison down there. On that corner. Be mindful of our health. I go here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ow. I knew that was going to hit me. Um, Alright, well, I just got to kind of hide behind these things a little bit here. And then we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta take some health. Use that. Come down here and get away from this guy. A wall between us and him. Oh boy. Alright, we gotta run for a second. Over here. Right, 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 we, need a, we need some health again. Oh, and poisoned. Great. Just great. So, this guy seems to be very stuck on that corner. I could, wish I was an archer and I could throw something at him. Let's see if I can make him come over here. Come to, come to me. There we go. Giant defeated. Rare shield recipe. We got a great stamina decoction and a serrated blade. I really ought to grab those. There's an eye there too. And some crystals. Saber and eye. Um... Good stuff here. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to go through and and do the needful with this. Let's go use all of those, and I might as well use this too just to make room. Uh, destroy that chest. Black dagger. There you go. Pick that up. Pick that up. Stamina decoction, probably don't need. The saber or the eye, I can't seem to do anything with yet. Um, let's do... Uh, I don't know, what's this? Stamina. Black dagger. Any coins? I'm trying... <laughs> we really need the, the, the bigger inventory room thing. Um, I guess I could just... use drop these because I'm never gonna use them right now and let's grab that saber and then um what does that do for me ray blade saber wow that's a really good thing let's uh let's equip that and then the battle axe I can just destroy for now, even though it's not going to give me that many coins. And we'll pick up that eye, because I don't know if I need it or not. And, uh, let's see what is next here. Oh, abandoned prison. Alright, so we got out of the catacombs and we're into the abandoned prison, so we should be able to see that on our map then and be able to come here on our own. Um, and... Really, what I'd like to do is be able to go back and unlock more things. Well, 
not going to be able to do that until we die, which we might, we might die very quickly here, who knows. Uh, wood helmets and HP. And what is down this way, I ask? Some chests and other things. Ooh, a fire guy. Awesome. Yeah, I didn't lose any real health with that at all. Oop, oop, okay. Another guy here. Damn, I am just badass right now. Badass in my way through here. We got a grindstone there. Okay. Perhaps normal mode is a little too easy for me. I don't know. Guardian shield, grindstone, serrated blade, more meat there. Awesome. All the coinage. All the time. And we're not, we haven't quite defeated everybody on the, on the level yet, so let's go do that. Hey, anything there? And I can. I guess not. I guess not. not level nine now. All right, floor is cleared now. What is that? Ooh, leather armor. Yes, please. Another leather armor. All right. Uh, I gotta see what this looks like. Um, all right, our cloak we're going to destroy. And what do I do with this, with the eye? It's just trash, but it's eight coins, okay. Let's grab that leather armor and take a look at it. Defense goes up by 22, speed goes down by 14. But I still have all this protection though, right? Death's Charm, protection from the undead. Although I'm not really meeting undead anymore, am I? These are like goblins and stuff. So let's uh, let's equip this then. And then this one, I guess I can just destroy it and get some coins. There you go. All right, well, I just picked up another, picked up another leather armor. I guess I can destroy this then. You know, it pains me to destroy them knowing that there's like <laughs> I can get uh, um, fetch a bunch of coins for them but I don't know that we're hurting as far as the coins at least this run goes can I destroy this thing? yeah I can All right. so we cleared this floor out so now it's just a matter of uh, moving to the exit there it is Alright, downwards we go, and another iron axe and things here, uh, guardian shield of priests, um, that is something, so let's, uh, what am I going to do here, that's a big health potion, wow, uh, I guess we'll Dagger's 180 coins, though. <laughs> I guess we'll destroy the serrated blade. Um, and we'll pick up that... Guardian Shield of Priest. Well, we would pick that up. Uh, if I can... Or that old map there. Oh, for crying out loud, game. <laughs> Alright, continue... And there we go. There's the shield. And let's see. Aura of Life. The character and all of his companions receive a small bonus to regeneration rate of HP. Well, yep. We're definitely equipping that then. And then this one we're just going to get some coinage for. Right, very good. And there's a wizard hat down there too. On that rack. So I can get these guys to come on up after me. Hey, wizards. 
You wanna get, you wanna get murdered? That's how you get murdered. Yep, yep, yep. I am a regular room clearer. There's a shield on that weapons rack down there. And... Was that about being a regular room cleaner? <laughs> I'm a regular room cleaner. Robe of heavenly protection. Yeah, I don't need that anymore. I know what that is. These arrows, though. I don't know if they, know if they actually mean anything or if they're just... there for, for decoration. What is that? Qualitative grindstone. Oh, there's a big dude here. Oh, plenty of crystals. Just keep them coming. All about them crystals. We haven't quite cleared the place out. That's our that's our exit there. I mean, there's just one more room here to... Yep. Another big dude in it. Several smaller dudes. Alright. They die well. They die quite well. What is that? An agate. Uh, health decoction. Okay. Okay. We're slowly regenerating our health anyway. So I guess I don't need my my health potions anymore. Uh, give me more room for other things. Get down a level. Oh, an ambush. Yep, this is the last... Last time I died was to an ambush room. So I was waiting for this. Okay. Come on. Oh, you want a, want a little piece of this? Come to pop. Ooh! All right. This time, the ambush room was no match for me. Yeah, every so often, you'll just you'll just go down a, a floor and just get totally ambushed. Uh, last time, I didn't. I wasn't quite a badass as I am now, so and I wasn't ready for it either. So, this time went a lot better. And I think that's... I don't need to look at all the things and all the nooks and crannies. I think we have quite a lot going for us. What does this sign say? Can I read that sign? No, I can't. Can't read this sign either? No. Here a bit. There we go. They are they are wearing me down quite a bit though with the health. So I'm trying I'm I'm running through it at pretty quick speed because I kinda wanna I kinda wanna die just to see how much I can unlock. <laughs> Which is an interesting interesting take on it. Um, but so far, I mean, everything's, you know, it, it's what you would expect, I think, from a, from a roguelike. Um, it's decent, I mean, there is a delay when you, you know, when you swing your sword and whatnot, but it's a consistent delay, which leads me to believe that it's, it's part of the whole game. And, uh, and that's fine, you know, when you get used to it. It's not really, um, it's not really a avoid damage thing, though. Um, it's more like you just kind of tank the damage as it comes in. Which, you know, might be a little bit disappointing. I don't know, 
if that's how much different that is with the, uh, say, the archer and whatnot. Because I would imagine the archer, you'd be able to peg them from long distance, and so you'd want to kind of hide out a little bit behind behind cover. Um, but uh, yeah, so far so good here, I'd say, uh, for this game. Is there? Did I? Have I? Yeah, I was gonna say there. There's gotta be more guys around here, right? Okay. That's so many upgrades. Can we get done here? It is now the floor is cleared. That's what I was waiting for. And we got clear out achievements. Alright, and serrated uh, bastard sword. Okay, so uh, I wonder if I can. I guess I can't really end a run, can I? It's it's interesting that I'm more interested in sort of ending a run just to just to level up my character more than than continue on. It's <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a roguelike where I'm like, man, I'd really like to just kind of abandon my run and come back to it, you know, just kind of upgrade my stuff. Um, oh, we got a recipe for Serrated Bastard now. Okay, so now we can actually uh, I guess buy that now. Got some some big dudes in here. Uh, wood helmets. Bring them down this way. Oh man, that was that. I almost had that tame troll down though. He was level ten. Um, but I also kind of wanted to die, <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I'm not going to back off. I'm just going to let this play out. So, four out of nine. So, I guess there are only nine. Oh, four out of nine in the abandoned prison. I was going to say, I've gone more than four floors. Okay. So, there's nine floors in the abandoned prison then. And five in the original one. So, then that gives us... we got tons of coins now. i got tons of tons of crystals. So, I go through here and say... Um, let's see. What, what else do we have available to us? See, it's hard to tell if I just can't afford these or if it's like they don't click immediately, which is weird. So training field Taylor opens one quick access cell. Uh, no, what I want is each character gets a little bag. Yes, that's what I want. Buy that, most definitely. Uh, what is this? Photographer's shack. Even in the darkest and dangerous dungeon, it becomes a little easier to breathe as soon as you realize that you have a map. The map shows a general plan of the dungeon. Oh, so I would get a mini map, except uh, I need to get that upgrade. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, I see what they're doing there. Oh, and these are all connected by corridors, so that's why it probably wasn't letting me click on certain things. Because they, they have to be connected to the center. Uh, hunter class over here. That's the arcane, so that's the wizard class. Um, and this is the hunter class. Place for training monster hunters. Uh, Halls of Battle. Unlocks the berserker class. Training, so open up. Open all extra skills. Max skill level is two. Let's up that. Up that. Uh, and then this is the base. Improve your guild. Discover new opportunities and heroes. Once per hour, your mind will gather some gold. You can collect gold by clicking on the icon in the upper right corner. Oh, is that what this is? Oh, see, that's been flashing like that forever. And I'm like, what is that? <laughs> and it, apparently it's, it's, oh, you had to click on that. That's why it was flashing like that. I'm like, oh, well, you know, okay. So that, that might be a little bit of a UI thing they're going to have to like work on because I, that thing's been flashing forever, and I'm like, I don't know what that is or why that's flashing, but, uh, yeah, I guess I should have figured it out myself, too. Um, okay, so that's, so this is our mine, so then, if I put 1,000 coins into it, then it's replenished up to 100 coins per hour, so let's do that. Cool. Alright, excellent. I like what they're, I like what they're doing here. 
Let's go next, and uh, I've got long sword, serrated bastard sword, because we got the recipe for that. So that's 75, which we don't have enough for. Um, or I can start out with the long sword. The short sword's been doing me pretty good, though, so I'm not going to really worry about that right now. I've got a new equipment slot for shields, because I found some shields. Uh, again, not going to worry about that right off. Um, helmet uh, might be a good thing. Uh, I didn't find any more than those, though. Uh, and then what do we have here for robes? So I didn't find the... I found other armor, but I didn't actually find the recipe for them, so... I can't use that. Can't upgrade that any further than what I got. This here, though... Um, reflecting most of its damage. Plus 86% damage absorption. It's now 85%. Um, plus 29 reflection of damage, now 27. So it goes from 85 to 86, 27 to 29, it sounds like. I've got 12 points on my warrior here. That's where the number is if you're looking for it. So we'll up that. Uh, this one is our damage. Let's definitely update that. Uh, and then we need to up our training cap to go further than that. Uh, same with this guy. Three points there. And we'll up this one as well. So that gives us one point left. Which I could buy... Penitent Blade. A quick attack, each hit of which can cause a bleeding effect on the enemy. Uh, the target will lose health for some time. Rumble of the battle. Warrior strikes to the shield, stuns and throws the nearest enemies. Also deals maximum... Or also deals damage that depends on our maximum health. Throw shield. The warrior throws a shield with a slight chance of stunning the enemy. As you progress, the number of targets that hit... That hit the shield increases if the warrior uses a shield for the block and returns to his hand, interrupting the throw. Uh, pain Absorber. Each block strike for a time increases the damage inflicted by the warrior. Block at the moment of impact throws away enemies. Uh, Vow of Holiness. The raised shield speeds up the recovery speed of the warrior's health. The undead that attacked the warrior at the time the shield was raised has a chance to be stunned. The damage from this attack will be extinguished. Ooh. And then Sacred Blade, fast attack causing increased damage to undead and demons. Uh, let's take that one, I guess. Alright. Very cool. Very cool. Um, I wonder if that's... Does that become the active one now because I branched off? Because I kind of want this to be the active one. I don't know how that works yet. Um, throwing knives, pets... Can I get a pet? I can. Let's get a pet. Lynx. Yes. There we go. And then the Lynx has a bunch of modifiers on it. Okay. Alright. Interesting. Interesting, I say. Um, but uh, I'm not I'm not gonna continue. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here so that uh, you guys are forced to if you wanna see more. Uh, go uh, take a look at the game. <laughs> take a look at the game itself. Um, actually, I do want to see uh, if that unlocked the next area. Forgotten Keeper. Yeah, that's the boss battle. Uh, and then, yes, the abandoned prison. So you see how we branched off there. And then there's another one. The Okay, the catacombs is where we started. Oh, this is uh, endless. Okay, that's right. When you beat it in normal, you get it in endless. So you can go and, and do whatever you want, as many floors as you want to do. Um, I don't see any quests yet, though. I don't know if that's something that just comes later or if it's not in the game yet. But um, we got 5 out of 13 locations that we've detected. So, uh, cool beans, friends. Cool beans. This has been Pocket Rogues. It is by Ether Gaming, And it is currently in early access on Steam. You can get it for 10% off at $5.39, normally $5.99 US if you buy before November 1st, uh, which is when it's the sale ends. Um, you will get 30% uh, extra XP in your game as you, as you go. Um, as always, I will leave links down in the description so you can do your own due diligence. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time.